Okay, what we're gonna do here is go through the, our refi program here in Palm Beach. And I'm using a, an app called Bay Area Agent. It's down in South Texas, uh, down by Galveston, I believe. Um, so your numbers may look different, but that's okay. We're just gonna go through and show you kind of how it works. Uh, tap on refi here under calculators. And there's really two things that the refi program does. It gives you your principal and interest payment on the new refi, the refi that you're doing. And then it's going to compare uh, that to your original or your current loan you have now, if you have refied before, um, you that's an addition, you can do that. Um, you don't have to, you can just show the payment for the refi we're doing right now, but I'll show you that. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is put in the amount they're refining. we'll do 350,000 rate. Let's say they're doing 3.75 for 30 years. We've got a points cost miscellaneous. Those are all places that you can add in different fees if you like. You can also add them to the uh, closing costs uh, by hitting options and closing costs. Um, we have two little check boxes here at the bottom. Uh, roll costs into the loan and no closing costs. Um, roll costs into the loan, pretty self-explanatory. It puts the cost, uh, the closing costs into the loan. So the loan's a little higher than what we have at 350 or sometimes people want no closing costs so they can do that with no lender fees. It's possible your app has something where it says RA credit. It might have something that's uh, reissue rates or uh, short term or something like that. It, it varies by state and by area. This is Texas and they have something called an RA credit. Uh, you may not have that. You may have something else or you may have nothing. Um, that's But that's where you go in. Basically gives you a cheaper title rate because you got one um, you know, within a certain time period. Uh, but I'm gonna leave that without hitting it and just hit compute. So it tells us our payment is about $1,621. That's with the loan amount of 350,000, interest rate at 375, and the total cost 4,415 to give us an APR of 3.784. Um, so we give you the loan, the total cost and the APR. You can hit the button on the top right, the little arrow icon, and you can send a full report or you can text a snapshot, which is just a simple little um, shot of the screen you see there. Um, the full report looks like that. It's got everything that we need. It's all our closing costs and everything. Okay, one step further, real quick, I did want to touch on this. We show the principal and interest for a couple of reasons and, and not taxes and insurance. Uh, number one is they're probably taxes and insurance are not going to change based on this most likely. Um, so those will still be the same. But also, we usually estimate taxes and insurance. And if I say that the monthly payment is going to be 1621 plus an estimate of taxes and insurance, that estimate could be higher or lower than what they're actually paying. So when we compare those two, it wouldn't be a, a real comparison because the payment you have now would be the actual payment. And if we're estimating on taxes and insurance, it could be higher or lower. So that's the reason why we don't do that. Um, it's a little, um, more than you probably bargained for to get that explanation, but I wanted to do it anyways. Um, so next, we've got the monthly payment. If we want to, we can hit compare. We're gonna compare the loan they have now, whether it's a refi from previous um, or it's the original loan, whatever it is, with the loan that they have now. Um, we'll do a loan amount of 400,000 with the rate of five and we did it for 30 years. Now, mortgage or refi date, that kind of explains what I just said. Um, it's either the mortgage date, the first time they got the loan, or the last time they refied. So I'll tap there. We'll choose January 2nd, 2015. Okay, so you put that in there. It's going to um, run an amortization schedule basically and give us what, and show how much they owe and all that stuff to give us a comparison. So what we're saying here is the refi payment is 1620.90. The original principal interest with the numbers we put in is $2147.29. So they're saving $526 a month if they refi. Okay. Another thing we have on here, if you see in the top uh, gray bar, it says break even zero nine months. That means it will only take them nine months to recoup what they paid in closing costs. I think it was $4,400. Um, so that $526 is just going to take nine months. Uh, to add up to that $4,500. Um, so if they're gonna stay in the house for more than nine months, they're going to end up saving money um, in the long haul. What you can also do is you see this little slider. If I lightly touch this little blue ball here, say we wanna see in 10 years, their saving projected savings are 58,000 um, because they're paying $526 left per month. That's quite a bit. Um, 
we can go 20 years. 20 years is 121,000, it's almost double. Um, so you can take that slider, but if you go, let's say to 25 years, that's gonna be our max, 144. If you go past that to 27, or 28, 29, the number goes down because that other loan will have paid off and so the numbers start dwindling a little bit. But after 30 years of paying on this, you still will have saved 47,657 uh, if they refi using the numbers we put in. Uh, another cool thing to look at is the savings up here in the top blue bar. If you tap that, it's like an amortization schedule um, for your savings. It tells us in year one, their monthly savings are 526. And so basically it is adding to the total savings, which is the closing cost. You start at minus 4,400 and then that 500 gets added to it and eats away at it until it becomes a positive, which are savings. So they can see every year and then as you get to 25, it starts dwindling down. So that's what the refi program does. Um, there's going to be in an update, uh, lots more things that it's going to do um, since they're really becoming popular right now. But those those are the two main things that we like to show um, It's the payment and the comparison between the old loan and the new loan that they might possibly get. Um, that's it. If you have any other questions, please let us know.